we're in a huge stress because actually in six days the truck is going into the container and off to Chile. So there is absolutely no space for any mistakes. We need a winch as a backup safety when we're driving up the hill in case the vehicle starts sliding so it won't fall all the way down the mountain. And the problem that brings along is that the winch need to pull in the rope fast enough so we can drive while pulling in the rope. Our hydraulic pump on board is not delivering enough volume to drive the winch fast enough. So what we've done, we have this power takeoff on Terran. It delivers a lot of power to any kind of devices you want to use. And in this case, we have bought this hydraulic pump that we can attach to the PTO and then uh, the hoses will run into the cabin where this big lever is where you can then uh, set the direction and the speed of the winch. So this will be mounted next to the joystick inside the cabin. Now the really difficult part is that there is no adapter or nothing like universal to use to attach this. So it's going to be a pretty big job to attach all these parts and make it work. What we have to do now as quickly as possible is um, attach this hydraulic pump to Terran and I need to make this adapter plate. And we have a beautiful high precision hole. These parts should actually be milled because that's the only way you get the right position and at the same time I'm just doing this all by hand. But this is a last minute um, fix job. I'm sure it will be good enough for a few hours of winching at Ojos del Salado. Both of these plates are ready. One is mounted to the vehicle, one is mounted to the hydraulic pump. Basically, there is no space. This is not good. It's not good. We just figured out uh, a new issue because the whole vehicle is articulating. So depending on what kind of terrain you run, the pump will actually move up and could potentially hit this box. So what we have to do now is drive to the train station put the pump on the on the PTO and actually measure how much it will come up. We will go there right now, we will bring the pump. Oh, well, here it looks uh, good, it has space. I think we're good from like we're basically hitting the limit anyway of what we would achieve. That would look cool uh, actually from the back. Then we make a new reel yeah. that also breaks 100k. Yeah, let's do it. Shake off all the sand and let it run down your neck. Sound check from the Lido deck. We make it back to land and we fall on the floor. Make some moves, fly a bit on the shore. So we're here to do science. Uh, not to play around with the truck and that's why I'm gonna put on this pump now and see if it actually gets in the way or not. We are allowed five centimeters. Yeah, yeah. Um. <sighs> let's let's do it. Let's I'm happy. We found out what we wanted, now let's go home and get back to work. And the two plates I produced earlier, they are screwed onto the pump and one is screwed onto the vehicle. And now uh, the delicate part is to actually weld them together. And I have these distance holders, little steel uh, cubes. And I'm gonna weld them in here in between to fix this. And in this setup, the pump will be twisted against the frame, so the frame absorbs the torque of the pump. And these plates are mainly to hold the pump uh, attached to the PTO. 
there's a lot that can go wrong in this moment because if this pump is hanging slightly on the axis of the PTO and this gearbox aren't aligned and there will be always pressure on the on the bearing while turning and that would be wear it out and I uh, have to find a way to kind of adjust for that feels pretty good I think I'm gonna risk and make a little uh, spot weld just to keep it in place Fine. And to actually do the proper welding, I have to take it out because this is a really bad position for the welding. Um, but now I can actually straight away test if it's still possible to disassemble the whole thing. It's an absolutely crazy construction and not my most beautiful work, but it will do the job, I'm convinced. And uh, it, there is a nice symmetry to it. You have like these screws around that are attaching it to the pump. Then you have the screws that attach it to the vehicle. And in the middle you have the drive shaft that is um, rotating to transmit the power. And then we have these little points where it's welded around here. So we'll find out soon if this works. This big lever here is uh, for uh, forward and backward. There are four hoses, four hydraulic hoses. We need to attach to this point that goes to the winch and to the pump. This lever, we would like to have it somewhere here. The hydraulic lines, they are going down there in the middle of this tunnel. Maybe cut the hole here and attach this as solid as possible. So the camera crew had to take over. <laughs> they said, don't go to art school. You're never going to. I've never been to art school. Uh, sheet metal. So onto this um, space for all those. It was a success. The uh, hydraulic lever is installed. This is going to control our winch and the hoses are going to go inside there, so they're not visible. We finally did it. The pump is on, it's attached, everything works. We can reach this um, inlet, outlet to attach the hoses. We tested it in the twisting motion. That also worked. Um, happy about this. The wires. The drive system from the batteries, they go here. Also looks good. I think that's it for today. It's uh, only been 14 hours work, but um, we deserve our dinner and we'll get back to work tomorrow morning at uh, seven. We're here at our local trusted workshop with Terran, we don't have those tools to press the, the hoses, so those guys will help us actually fix it. The first thing we have to completely drain all the oil. It's actually a lot, it's about 25 liters of hydraulic oil. So we're gonna open up the, the hose at the bottom and just uh, empty it out into a bucket. The diameter of the hoses is not ideal. It's just the efficiency is bad and the, the oil heats up more because if you push a lot of oil through a small hose it gives a lot of back pressure and it takes more energy and the oil gets warmer but in our case it's not such a big deal because we don't actually take so much power from the winch we don't r pull the whole truck up the mountain the winch is mainly to stop it from sliding down the mountain it, it actually drives up on its own power so that should work why are the hoses smaller? We have a, a flow of 70 liters per minute. And ideally we would use a one inch hose, but that's so big and we actually would need four of them to go to, up to our um, lever. <laughs> and and um, 
and then it would be so many hoses that we would struggle with the bending and everything so we take the smaller hoses and just push the oil through we have this hose that sucks the oil from the tank the oil goes then into the pump and the pump pushes it through this hose into the cabin to the lever so the oil comes in here from the pump and then this lever decides on the, the direction and um, these two hoses then go to the front to the winch. The oil goes here in to the winch and drives the rope in and out. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna work, yeah. Pretty exciting. We are right now at the point where we can test the pump and measure the flow of the oil. So we want to measure how many liters per minute do we get. But the goal is to reach about 70 liters. That would be the maximum speed for the winch. And we have two ways to adjust. We have this knob where you can uh, adjust the speed of the winch here. And then we can play with the RPM of the motor, of the pump. Now we measured the, the volume, the amount of oil. We measured the oil pressure. We set everything exactly to the specifications of the winch. Now we're going to pull in the winch and see how, how fast it moves. So this is like the big, big moment. I think that's what the winch can do. It's much faster than before. So and that's it. Yeah, I guess we're going to test it, just pull a little tree around, see if this uh, force measure device works and um, that no oil leaks exist and then we're ready. can match the driving speed with the pulling speed but it's still very slow like it we would like to have it much faster and it's just this winch we have it probably can't do more we have to deal with what we have and what we have again is what we have is a very or? it's it's what we have we uh we can deal with it it's possible but the matching the winch speed with the driving speed is almost impossible we finally made it it was uh three days of um, almost 12 hours each working on this thing i think uh, almost everything went wrong that could go wrong but now it's working and the winch is definitely faster but it could still be faster we are never happy but I think we have reached now a point where it's really usable on Ojos del Salado and we'll leave it like this and take it as it is and uh, we're ready to ship.